Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan James, and I'm a mindset coach that loves to specifically focus on relationships. However, if there, if there are other areas of your life that you want to create peace, harmony, abundance in, then feel free to reach out to me. Remember, life is not happening to you. It is happening through you. There is no circumstance in your way. There's nothing that you can't achieve. You are completely limitless. You are showing the world how to treat you based on how you treat yourself. What you believe and feel about yourself, everybody and everything is showing up responding and reflecting back. When you become the change you seek to experience, you will experience that change everywhere you go. In today's video, I want to talk about persisting until you receive your manifestation. Now, this week on my channel, I've been talking a lot about living in the end and what that actually looks like. The fastest way to manifest is to go to it is done. Okay. And so I want to talk about an example from my own life that I feel, you know, would really help give some context for this. And it's actually something that I was talking to a client about yesterday. If this is your first time here, I'm going to suggest uh, that you watch this video, how the subconscious mind works. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all the new people on my channel. The second thing is I have some affirmation tracks on my channel that you can listen to while you're sleeping. The fastest way to create a change in your subconscious mind and your self-concept and your self-image is to listen to a new belief system while you are asleep. Your conscious mind is completely relaxed. It's going straight into your subconscious, which creates the change for you. It makes manifesting a very simple process. The one that I suggest anybody that's new to my channel to listen to is my Limitless Manifestor Affirmation Tape, which I'm also going to link up there. Okay, so I'm going to get into this topic. Now, the example that I'm going to use right now is a little bit extreme. So I want to say that it's not going to be just like this. However, I still think it's a good example, so I want to use it. Okay, so as my seasoned subscribers know, I studied biochemistry at university. Not only did I do that, I also ran for cross country. Now, if you know anything about cross country, you know that it is a lot of miles that you run each week. So I used to run about 30 to 40 miles a week. And then during races, we would do about four to five mile races where you would have to main maintain at least a six minute mile or less in order to be considered proficient. Okay. Now, how does this relate to manifesting? All right. So I want to talk about living in the end. All right. And I'm going to relate to this like when I used to run in a race. Okay. So when I would go into a race, even though I'm running and it could be very difficult in the moment, right? I feel my body sweating, my heart rate's accelerated, I'm pushing a very fast mile. In my mind, okay, I was already seeing myself cross the finish line and seeing a very specific time on the clock, okay? And this is kind of how the manifesting process is. Whatever is going on in front of you, it does not matter, okay? So I could have very easily in those moments been like, wow, I'm feeling really tired. My body's really hurting. Um, this feels so long. I have two to three more miles to go. How am I going to maintain this pace? Blah, 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 blah. Limitations, me feeling powerless, right? That's really what that is. I would not allow my mind to go to that place. In my mind, no matter what was going on in front of me, okay, I was already seeing myself pass that finish line at a certain time. Okay. And this is very much what it's like when you're living in the end and consciously creating or manifesting something in your reality. It does not matter what's going on in front of you. Okay. You are deciding when you step into being a conscious creator that nothing is in my way. Nothing is going to get an emotional reaction out of me. Nothing is going to stop me. I'm already at the end in my mind and I'm trusting my body and my environment to conform to this end vision that I have. All I have to do is hold this very deep inner knowing that it is done. Okay. And this is very powerful and this is the quickest way for you to manifest. Now, I said this is kind of an extreme example because obviously you're not really going to be running a marathon. You're not going to be sweating and pushing a, you know, a five to six minute mile. But it does still apply. And so this is where the art of emotional self-regulation really comes into play. I'm going to list it up here. That's the number one skill that I have on my channel. You do not have the time to worry about the circumstances in front of you. It is not for you to worry about how it's going to shift and change. It's not for you to figure out. Okay, that's really what you need to understand. Your logical mind may want to figure out, but how is this going to happen? And they used to be this and blah, 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 blah. How is this going to come together? That's not for you to figure out. Okay. 
All you have to do is hold that deep inner knowing that this is done. I'm already seeing what I have as done. I don't need to worry about how it's going to unfold. I just need to stay in this state that it is done and enjoy my reality. Okay. So obviously you're not going to be running a uh, race. So how this would look in your day-to-day -day life is anytime that you go to that topic, you think about it as done. Anytime that your mind wants to give into doubt or fear or insecurity, you make it powerless, right? So in a race, I didn't have the time to look at who's running next to me, who's behind me or who's in front of me, right? If I allowed myself to look at those things, I would start to be in the present moment in that way where it feels distressing, where I feel like I'm losing, where I'm checking, where I'm feeling insecure, and that would throw me off, which would cause me to not manifest what I wanted. This kind of relates to the video that I put up like two or three days ago where I said, it doesn't matter what other people want. I'm going to link that video here too. It does not matter. When it comes to getting what you want, if you are allowing yourself to give into those doubts or insecurities of, but they did this, or what if this other person wants it? Or what about all this competition? Or they're talking to all these other people and there's third parties and blah, 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 blah. You have to really step in and make that completely powerless. Okay. It does not matter. I am limitless. I'm always getting what I want. It is done. Everything else is irrelevant. Everything else is powerless. I'm not threatened by anything. I'm not worried about anything. I'm only focusing on myself feeling good and knowing that it's done. Okay. When you step into that state of being internally, how this is going to look is you go about your reality, just enjoying your life. Right? So I say on my channel, listen to these beliefs at nighttime, know that that's going into your subconscious mind and stop trying to manifest. Okay. It's going to naturally unfold. It's going to occur as you say it is done right? So imagine like point A and point B, right? So let's say point A is where you are and point B is where you want to be, okay? If you keep focusing that you're at point A, how is this going to change? How is this going to happen? They're doing this. They're doing blah, 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 blah. I need this logical understanding of how it's going to unfold. You're never going to get to point B, okay? In your mind, when you decide, you know what? It doesn't matter where I am. I'm going to decide to be here. It is done, right? you're going to naturally ascend to that space where it is done. All the behaviors, the unfolding, being at the right place at the right time, the people, places, resources, the knowledge, all of that will unfold because you get out of your own way, okay? So in order to get to where you want to be, you have to see past where you currently are. You have to stop giving the current circumstances power and allowing them to feel bigger or more challenging than you. This is what living in the end really means. I don't care what's in front of me. I don't care if you tell me no. I don't care if this person screams at the top of a building that they don't love me and they never want to be with me. I don't care if you tell me that I'm going to be bro broke for the rest of my life. I don't care if you tell me that I'm ugly or that I'm not worth anything. I don't care if you tell me that I'm never going to be a successful singer. I don't care if you tell me that I'm never going to be a successful artist. I don't care if you tell me that I'm worthless. I don't care. I don't care how many people doubt me. It does not matter. Why? Because I believe in myself. I know that I'm worthy. I know that I'm deserving and I can see it internally. I'm going to make everything else powerless and I'm going to focus on it being completely done. I'm going to see every challenge as something that's working for me, something that is helping me get closer and closer and closer to where I know I'm going to be. Okay. When you maintain that deep inner focus, that deep inner knowing, and you stop giving your power away to circumstances saying, oh my gosh, but how is this going to change? Or they're showing up and doing this. And I thought I was doing well, but then they showed up in my reality and did this. Okay. In a race, I could easily be like, oh my gosh, this person just got ahead of me. How am I going to beat them? How, why, why? I thought I was focused. I thought in my mind that I was seeing that I was passing the finish line at this time. It's irrelevant. The more that you feed into those things and you allow them to feel real, you're actually throwing yourself off. You're doing yourself a disservice. It doesn't matter what anybody is doing around you. You will experience what it is that you want to create the moment that you stop feeling like other people, things or places have more power than you or like they're bigger than you. When you completely devalue it and say, you know what? I don't care. That can happen and I can still get what I want and I'm still believing that it's done. You will literally see that in some way, some shape, somehow your reality will reconfigure itself to deliver you just that. Okay. It's a deep internal knowing. And at the same time, it's kind of a release to where it's like, I don't really need to worry or care or try to figure this out. All I need to know is that it's done and go about my reality. However, I want to enjoy myself 
enjoy my time with my friends, enjoy my time with my family, enjoy myself doing things that make me feel alive, artistic expression, whatever it is, dancing and music, the more that you can be in a state of enjoyment and knowing that it's done, you're going to naturally find yourself moving from this point to this point where you have what it is that you want. That's what I mean by it's not a trying process. It's a decision. It's a declaration. The moment I started that race, I was already at the end, right? Yes, I ran through it, but I would always, as long as I held that internal knowing and that image in my mind that it was done, I would always pass the line at that time that I had in my mind, right? So that's where you have to see really how powerful you are. If you think that things are bigger than you, or if you look at your circumstances and you say, man, I'm really trying this. I thought I changed. Why is this showing up this way? Why isn't it working? You're feeding into the old story, okay? You have to go past it. In order to get out of a pattern, you have to stop identifying with the pattern and giving it power. So if you're here, okay, the pattern is right here and you want to get to here. Even if this pattern shows up, you say, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to walk around it and I'm still going to get to where I want to be. This pattern holds no power in my reality. It's done. That is the fastest way to manifest. You don't need to affirm it to be differently. You don't need to try and figure it out. You don't need to do anything except to maintain that deep inner knowing that it is done. Okay. If you're able to successfully apply this and you really get what I'm saying, then you're going to understand that it should be a very relaxed and light process. Okay. The moment that you decide it's done, it's done. I don't really care. I'm going to go about my day doing whatever it is that I want. Anything that pops up along the way is irrelevant. It's powerless. I can't relate. That's kind of my favorite saying, okay? So anything that I could see that would ever be challenging, I'm like, eh, can't relate. Can't relate. That's powerless. Can't relate. I don't really care. Not bothering me. Can't relate. If you can be in that space of can't relate, that's powerless. I always get what I want. It's done. You're going to see that whatever you want, you get, it's always going to be done. Okay. So make this fun and light and playful. It doesn't matter how big the circumstances are in front of you. It doesn't matter how many people tell you it'll never happen. It doesn't matter if people don't believe in you. The only person that it matters is whether or not you believe in yourself and you decide fully at a core level that I am worthy, I am deserving, and nothing is in my way. I am 100% limitless. I believe. I don't need you to believe in me. I believe in myself. I don't need your permission to know what I'm creating for my life. I don't need your approval for what I'm creating in my life. I don't really care if you don't agree with it or if you don't think it's going to be possible. And honestly, I've done this so many times in my reality, okay? Back when I was in university, for instance, oh my gosh, it was so funny. You could ask the the, the classmates that I had, I would literally tell them, you guys, I'm making $10,000 a month. I'm making $10,000 a month. I would just go straight to the end and people would look at me like, what? And I'd be like, yeah, I'm making $10,000 a month. I don't care. When I decide to create something, I speak it into my reality. I go straight to the end and I stay there. I don't care how many people look at me like I'm crazy. I don't care how many people tell me it's never going to happen. I don't care how many people kind of laugh or say like, really, I don't see it. I'm okay. I don't care. It's done right? The moment that I decide something is done, it is coming into my reality, period. Okay. So stop giving your power away to what other people think or their opinions or whether or not they believe in you. All you have to have is belief for yourself in this deep inner knowing. Okay. Believe in yourself, trust yourself, love yourself, and you're going to see that you always get whatever it is that you want. Okay. So I love you all so, so, so much. Thank you for being here. I will see you in my next video. Thank you for all the thumbs up. And you're going to see actually today that I release a few new affirmation tracks for my channel. Today is my work day. So I'm working on personalized tapes for clients and getting out notes. So if any clients are watching this, know that you're going to be receiving some emails today too. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Have a lovely end to your weekend and a beginning to next week. Bye.